Today we have listed for sale a 2000 Dolphin model 5360. As you can see it has the big super slide with a slide out awning. It has window awnings all the way around and they all have the the metal covers so you don't have to worry about the fabric getting sun faded. It has Goodyear tires, they're 19.5s. 225 70 19 fives and they're all in good shape no dry rot good tread as you can see the stripes are all in very nice condition with no cracks or splits the stripe package is very nice on this unit has the tag axle for extra stability it has 50 amp power so you can run both air conditioners on shore power you can see it has a backup camera. It has the rock guard underneath so when you're towing something it won't ding it up. This is the only nitpick on the exterior of the motorhome. You can see apparently they did a little repair to the step ladder mount. I'm going to trim that out a little better, make it a little not quite as large. The roof is in good shape. There's no cracks, no tears no leaks has a solar panel on top of one of the roof air conditioners to help keep the batteries charged as you can see it has the aluminum cover on this awning as well uh, this is an extra wide awning it's about 20 feet or so long as you can tell from the fact that it has the center support brace have a an electrical step that works See the model number, it's got the V10 engine. Has the du dual six volt house batteries, which are wired up to make 12. This actually gives you extra storage capacity versus two regular 12 volt batteries. Walking inside, see the lounge chair. Has lights all throughout the coach. TV antenna, color TV has a Jensen stereo CD player with remote control have lots of extra keys has a pull out table for your passenger along with power hookups if you want to use a laptop 44,927 miles 527 hours on the generator power gear jacks rising sun visors these are the kind of visors you usually only find on airplanes or expensive diesel pusher motorhomes over here is your sofa bed this has a real fold out bed it's not a regular jackknife sofa there's also tons of books and records got the owner's manual the uh, chassis manual books manuals VCR tape on using the jacks these are Corian counters. There's a clock built into that etched glass. Corian countertops, fold out eave, wood floors. A Dolphin is a high-end motorhome. It's not your cheap Flair or Damon or Georgie Boy or something like that. It has the G convection microwave, convection oven, three burner, Wedgwood stove, Dometic refrigerator, it's in good condition, no stains, no problems, it does work. Smoke detector here, CO2 detector, here's all your tanks, propane, fresh, holding gray. It has a vent fan you can control whether it sucks or blows and run it off a thermostat or just cut it on manually. It has a uh, electronic climate control. This controls both air conditioners and the furnace. Just spent $500 plus labor. I'm replacing the circuit board in this and both air conditioners since I had to do it all at once. I couldn't just change the circuit board on just this. I had to do the boards on the air conditioners too even though they were fine. So all of that's been redone. Moving down the hallway, you can see you got large pull-out drawers. 
little safety catches so they don't come out going down the road. Cedar closets, all your specs, all your uh, serial numbers here, more closet space. Got a mirror bathroom door. Walking inside here, cut the light on. It's a real porcelain toilet, glass shower enclosure. It has a real tub and shower, which is handy if you have kids or something. As you can see, no leaks, never leaked, that we can detect. Moving to the back, we have a new mattress. You can see all the, the cabinet doors are mirrored. Again, no leaks. The whole, almost the entire back wall is a large double mirrored sliding door closet. And it's full length so you can have, you know, a full suit or dress or whatnot. You can't really see back in there, but there's more storage. There's some places for shoes and more cabinets there. It's got a little makeup table. I guess you would call it. It's perfect for sitting down and getting ready for the day. Behind here it's got a TV hookup or you could just take this door off and put you a big LCD there and be done with it. This door here closes off the bedroom for privacy. You can see the towel racks on the inside of the bathroom door. Moving back forward, again, wood floors. The carpet is nice, although I've had this smoke coach at my house, so it's gotten a little tracked up just from walking in and out, but nothing a little light cleaning won't take care of. We have this currently listed for sale on eBay, and it's also for sale locally. Uh, cash price, $20,500, our best offer and we will be glad to work with you this is a good motor home we've had the mechanic go over it he's checked everything out cleaned the carburetor on the generator done all that kind of good stuff so it's ready to go so if you have any questions or want to talk more about it or see more pictures give me a call my number is 601-376-9869 or 601-720-2857 Again, that's a 2000 Dolphin 5360 with the V10. And as an aside, the V10 in this model gear range is what you want. The Chevrolets used an auto park system and they are prone to go in the park driving down the road or not come out of park when you're parked at a gas station. They're just really problematic. And you can spend upwards of $1,500 to fix one. So. Until you get up into the O3s and 4s with Allison transmissions, you want to avoid the Chevrolet powered motorhomes. Now, in the newer ones, they're fine. They're just as good as the 4s. There's no, one's no, not much better than the other. But uh, in this year range from early 90s to early 2000s, stick with the Ford. Anyway, that's uh, just something to throw out there whether you buy this one from us or not. Again, the number is 601. 720-2857. Give us a call and Happy New Year.